Hi, this is Tom from zerodefinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through acute cholecystitis. And you can find written notes on this topic at zerodefinals.com slash acute cholecystitis or in the general surgery section of the Zero Finals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. Acute cholecystitis refers to inflammation of the gallbladder which is caused by a blockage of the cystic duct, preventing the gallbladder from draining. Acute cholecystitis is a key complication of gallstones, and the majority of cases, around 95%, are caused by gallstones. Acute cholecystitis caused by gallstones is called calculus cholecystitis. Gallstones may be trapped in the neck of the gallbladder or in the cystic duct. In a small number of cases, the dysfunction in the gallbladder emptying is caused by something other than gallstones, and this is called acalculus cholecystitis. One scenario that may cause acalculus cholecystitis is where patients are on total parenteral nutrition or are having long periods of fasting, for example when they're in the intensive care unit for another very serious condition and the gallbladder is not being stimulated by food in order to empty regularly, and this causes a build-up inside the gallbladder. Remember that normally the gallbladder is stimulated by a chemical called cholecystokinin, which is released in response to food in the duodenum. If there's no food entering the GI tract because the patient is on total parental nutrition or fasting, then the gallbladder is not receiving this stimulation, so bile builds up in the gallbladder and can lead to acalculus cholecystitis. Let's talk about the presentation of acute cholecystitis. The main presenting symptom of cholecystitis is pain in the right upper quadrant. This may radiate to the right shoulder. Other features include fever, nausea, vomiting, tachycardia, which is a fast heart rate, and tachynea, which is a fast respiratory rate, right upper quadrant tenderness, Murphy's sign, which we'll talk about shortly, and raised inflammatory markers and white blood cells on the blood test. Murphy's sign, which is suggestive of acute cholecystitis, can be tested by placing a hand in the right upper quadrant and applying pressure, asking the patient to take a deep breath in, and when the patient does this, the gallbladder will move downwards during inspiration and come in contact with your hand. Stimulation of an inflamed gallbladder as it rubs past your hand during inflammation will result in acute pain and sudden stopping of inspiration. So if the patient experiences sudden acute pain as well as stopping breathing in, this is a positive Murphy sign and suggests acute cholecystitis. Let's talk about imaging. The first step in imaging is to do an abdominal ultrasound scan. The signs of acute cholecystitis on an ultrasound are a thickened gallbladder wall, stones or sludge in the gallbladder, and fluid around the gallbladder. Magnetic resonance calandriopancreatography, or MRCP, is a type of MRI scan that may be used to visualise the biliary tree in more detail. And this is used if a common bile duct stone is suspected but has not been seen on the ultrasound scan. And the reason to suspect a common bile duct stone are biliary duct dilatation on the ultrasound scan or a raised bilirubin level on the blood test. Let's talk about management. Patients with suspected acute cholecystitis need emergency admission to hospital for investigations and further management. Conservative management involves making the patient kneel by mouth to rest the gallbladder 
giving IV fluids, IV antibiotics as per the local guidelines, and an NG tube may be required to help drain the stomach if the patient is vomiting. And endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography or ERCP procedure can be used to remove stones that are trapped in the common bile duct. Cholecystectomy or removal of the gallbladder is usually performed during the acute admission within 72 hours of the symptom starting. In some cases, a cholecystectomy may be delayed for six to eight weeks after the acute episode to allow the inflammation to settle. Let's talk about the complications of acute cholecystitis. There's four complications to remember. Sepsis, gallbladder empyema or pus in the gallbladder, a gangrenous gallbladder, and perforation of the gallbladder, leading to peritonitis. Finally, let's talk about gallbladder empyema. Gallbladder empyema refers to infected tissue and pus collecting in the gallbladder. Management involves IV antibiotics and one of two main options, either cholecystectomy with removal of the gallbladder or cholecystostomy with insertion of a drain into the gallbladder to allow the infected material to drain away. If you like this video, consider joining the Zero to Finals Patreon account, where you get early access to these videos before they appear on YouTube. You also get access to my comprehensive course on how to learn medicine and do well in medical exams, digital flashcards for rapidly testing the key facts you need for medical exams, early access to the Zero to Finals podcast episodes, and question podcasts which you can use to test your knowledge on the go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.